the fishing line I'm just using standard 35 pound monofilament I've got four hooks here these are O'Shaughnessy 2 slash 0 size nickel plated I've used everything from size 1 to size 5 0 to tie this rig so whatever you've got in your box uh, this is uh, just an ordinary medicine cup that I'm going to use to draw around to make the curly tails I've got a pencil black marker which I'm going to use for just putting some eye spots on some insulation tape this is 20 mil three quarters of an inch uh, just clear nail varnish fast drying or whatever you've got uh, a marigold or, or washing up glove and a pair of sharp scissors so the first thing I'm going to do is just cut an inch and three quarters to two inch wide strip off the top of the glove and then just open that up to mark out the whip tail I'm going to place my little medicine cup just on the edge and draw around it the diameter of this is about an inch and a half 40 mil and then I'm going to take the inside which has got a diameter of about an inch or 25 mil and draw around that. There we go. And then just from one edge, I'm going to draw a line down about the same thickness. So the whip tail is going to run from this straight part along and then round for three quarters of the circle. Once I've marked it out, I'm just going to trim it down a bit and cut out me the whip tail. So to attach the tail to the hook temporarily I'm going to use a piece of tape and I'm just going to trim this it needs to be about the same length as the distance between the eye and the end of this point here yeah which is about right I'm just going to turn this hook over and then just attach the bottom of the tab the hook and then I'm just going to give it once round the hook there. and then taking my curly tail I'm just going to kind of lay it up against the shank there we go and then wrap that and then I'm going to turn it a bit, what I want to happen is that when I lay the hook down this hook of the, of the tail is in the opposite direction to this hook before I tie it and what that means is when it's running through the water it's less likely to get tangled with the hook so once I'm happy that the tail and the tape are firmly attached to the hook I'm going to place it in my fingers and then begin to tie the knot and create the snood to do that I'm going to take two to three hundred mil of line and thread it through the top of the eye and then back through the bottom and that's going to give me a loop so with this bend here I'm just going to push this under my thumb there's my first loop to create the second loop I'm going to push my tag end through the first and then pull it on the line back to the spool I just draw that up I don't want to be too hard, I don't want to pull all that through the eye. I'm going to push this back and get a firmer grip. Then I begin to wrap. And I generally give somewhere between 10 and 15 turns. And then just stop. 
So I'm going to trim this line back to the spool. Change hands. And now my new tag end, I'm going to push through that loop there. And then it's just a case of gently pulling my other end to close up the knot. So just before I finish I'm going to cut this tag end off here. And then take a bit of nail varnish and just coat the head. And this should soak in through the little gaps in the knot. Just give it some extra protection. I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute and then come back to it. So once the nail varnish had a bit of time to set, I'm just going to take the marker and uh, just make a little eye spot. And the same on the other side. There we go. So once you finish your four layer heads and snoods, you can move on to assembling the rig and that's shown on a separate video that you can find by following the link.